Sensual Hall is leading the ninth race post parade. Tony Kerwood in the bike, trained by Phil Cool for Idlewood Stables Watkins Equi. Kevin Lair trains for Joan William Venables Jr. Harness the Power. Luke Willett in the bike of two Jersey Gal. Bob Benkel is the trainer for Art Geiger, David Stalls with Little E Corporation. Mike Lachance, the driver of three, Magenta Hall. Sean Smetzhammer is trainer driver on number four, Blur, owner Barry Goldstein. Carl Jamison is co-owner and trainer on five, Jail Ginger. Co-owned by Joanne Morrison, Carl Ungerman, Glengate Farms, Mark McDonald in the bike. Suzanne Kerwood training for C&I Siegel Stable, Mike Saftick, driver of six, Mary Rules. Four stars, DLH. Changed from Kent see back to open bridle. Trainer Dave Sabatelli for four stars, stable Dave Miller. Brian Sears driving the eight, third rate. Also trained by Bob Benkel for Art Geiger, David Stalls, and Little E Corporation. Larry Rathbone is the trainer for M&L of Delaware. Catello Manzi is driver of nine, Lady Matic. And number ten, vying for the crown. Trained by Jimmy Cruz Jr. for Chesmeral Stable and the driving services of John Kimball. The purse is over $565,000 for the three year old Philly Trotters in the 2005 Elegant Image Stakes Championship. Post time from Woodbine at 1048. Additional Superfecta this event. Superfecta added to the wager. Ninth race is the 2005 championship final of the Elegant Image Stakes, and they're off and trotting. Uh, in the center of the gate, it was J.L. Ginger that made the break, getting away. There goes Jersey Gal out to the lead. Central Hall is following in. Lady Matic firing up on the outside. Magenta Hall east in from fourth, and Blur is floated up fifth on the outside. Vying for the crown is off stride, so inheriting sixth is Mary Rules. Uh, just ahead of four stars, DLH and third reef. And then off stride from the outside went vying for the crown. And the distance trailer was J.L. Ginger after breaks. And uh, Sensual Hall was off stride. Taken to the inside safety lane in that first turn. Lady Maddock made the lead briefly. 26 and 4. A big tempo Jersey gal driving out around her. Blur has been sizing all of them up. And is trotting to the top here for Smith's Hammer to look to overtake Jersey gal on the way to the halfway point. Magenta Hall has closed the gap from fourth. Mary rules along. Along the inside is fifth. Four stars. DLH now six. Third reef is seventh. Sensual Hall after a break distance. Buying for the crown is out of it, and so is JL Ginger. 56 and four. 30 seconds in the second quarter, and blur. A two to five favorite. Just over three eighths of a mile to go in the 2005 Elegant Image Stakes Championship. Jersey Gal released that one to the lead. Magenta Hall on the first over final turn grind. The early leader, Lady Matic, fading away. Along the inside, trapped up in fourth, Mary Rue. Second over into the top five. Then four stars, DLH. Sixth on the outside. Third reef is hemmed along the inside. And the trailing trio after breaks. Sensual Hall vying for the crown. And Jail Ginger, it's all blur. 127, 30 and 1 fifth in the third quarter. Smedzhammer sitting on this one. Jersey Gal along the inside is two lengths back. Magenta Hall on the outside. Mary rules at the flank of Lady Matic. And Blur is coming down to the finish. The earplugs deployed. She's too legit to quit. That's Blur to win the Elegant Image Stakes Championship with authority. 155 and 4 to Magenta Hall and Jersey Gal.
Warriors returning into the Woodbine infield winner's circle. Muscles Yankee, three-year-old Bay Philly from Blue Ridge Girl. Owned by Barry Goldstein of Hewlett, New York, trained by Tron Smith's Hammer. He was in the bike for the victorious drive to capture the 2005 Elegant Image Stakes Final. Stormed onto the Grand Circuit scene last year with uh, a host of great horses. Stroke play and uh, House that Ruth built, uh, of course, Winsong's legacy. Tron, talk about, uh, again, your association with the connections of this filly and how it came to be that you got her. Well, the, I didn't train her last year like everybody knows. And uh, Barry Goldstein, they're the owner. Uh, Philly just, uh, they're going to walk around yeah. a little bit here uh, again. Carry on. Yeah, the, and uh, he called me this uh, winter and asked if I would uh, train her for him. And, of course, I saw the filly last year. We actually tried to buy her off of him last year, but uh, he uh, didn't want to sell. And uh, I was happy to get her. I knew she had a lot of ability, and, uh, I, you know, she's a nice filly. Has she exceeded your expectations at this point? Absolutely. She's three for three and uh, won a big stakes there tonight, so what more can you expect? Has she had a ripple since you've taken over from the uh, former connections? Well, let's put it this way. She uh, she didn't have a long season last year, and there was a reason for that. And uh, it's something we got to uh, you know keep after now too. It's uh, she doesn't have the uh, best uh, best front legs there. Clear sailing here tonight for you from start to finish, Tron. Yeah, I mean, I'd, uh, after I got to the front, I was pretty comfortable. I mean, she I felt her better than she was tonight, but uh, she got the job done. Congratulations on the win. Good luck rest of the season with her. Thank you. Trainer driver Tron Smetshammer gets it done in the Elegant Image Stakes Final with a trotting filly that didn't campaign out of a stable last year, but she's a force to be reckoned with this year. A name to remember, it's Blur. With thanks to Ken Middleton and Tron Smetshammer and uh, to Ken Middleton for all of the trackside coverage and the post-race interviews as seen live and simultaneously on the national television coverage on the score across Canada. In the Woodbine infield winner's circle to make the presentation to the connections of Blur, we thank Harry Rutherford and Jerry Van Bokel, the past breeders and co-owners of the great Elegant Image, namesake of this stakes event. Thanks to Harry Rutherford and Jerry Van Bokel for the winner's circle presentation to the connections of 2005 stakes winner, Blur.